Hello YouTube and welcome to Ground Forks. And as we are watching this magnificent train leaving the station and bringing all the kinds of good food to all the people that will need it, but basically most of all to the food processing plant to be processed and developed into much more. We will be expanding on that network today, I think, and we will be building more train lines. And also, I hinted something in the previous episode, didn't I? Yes, that's right. Let's go out of it. And we said that we wanted to connect Ventura with Charleston somehow. We want passengers to be going back and forth. And I think I just have a way to do it, so... There are two ways we could have pulled it off, actually. One would be extending the train line from here via Denton, somewhere build a stop station, and then proceed via Fremont, and then get into Charleston via the passenger route, and then connect to that train going over there. That, however, is a project that will require a lot of funds, which we at the moment we don't have. So, what I'm thinking now, rather, is I want to buy a boat. Yes, and shipyard will set me back a significant amount. So, passenger harbor. Let's see. Uh, should we do passengers or should we do shipping food? Passengers. Why? Tip. These can be changed with rebuild tool without having to demolish them. Yeah, okay. I'm not interested at the moment. Thank you. Where was I? ships right so let's see if we can stick this guy somewhere along here where shall we put him it has to look nice so there we go something like this perhaps a little bit further in I hope that these are all navigable waters uh why, why am i hoping i can actually see that Navigable waters. Yes, here we go. Good. Now, there we go. 240 large. Oh, I just smacked that in, right? Didn't I? All right. Well, too hard, too, too, too late to back out now. Now, how do I want to proceed? No, not like this. Let's nice build a nice curvy road, shall we? There we go, something like that. That will build connections, yes, and then followed by a nice straight road. That will be going here. Perfect. And then a bus stop, obviously. And by bus stop, I mean a turnaround station that will be covering the rest, yes. There we go, and then we should probably close up this road because it would make perfect sense. So streets, curly one, yes, thank you. And you go like this, oh, you're getting pricey on me, aren't you? Okay, like this, and then just continue the damn thing, will ya? There we go, awesome. Now, Smoothertron, uh, brush size, yes, please. I really cannot watch this, so sorry. I know it's hitting into my profits and I'm probably gonna re regret it down the line, but what can you do? So, Ventura port, and I'll have to take again the loan, won't I? Hmm, I figured as much. So where should I put the, be putting this at Charleston? Well, here I would say we have a bus stop already and a good traffic. Oh, we have a new vehicle, the 440 General. Oh, now we'll be getting a re some really fun stuff indeed. So, what did this way? Passenger traffic. Yeah, here we had a bus stop. Could I somehow afford to place this guy? Oh, that would be huge. Seven buildings would be removed, two buildings, 340 large. I mean, I cannot pay for it, but I would want to know if it can't could be built. Yeah, collision. 427, let's first do like this. 
Yeah, I'm gonna borrow some money. What can I do? Collision, collision. Nope. Three buildings will be removed. Collision, okay, let's see. No. Okay, now it will no longer collision. Three buildings will be removed. A lot of passengers that would be in the catchment area. Oops. Did I do something stupid? I think I did. And this is hideous. Obviously. I have no idea if people will be actually be able to go here. It's a catchment area. Okay, let's remove this hideous costs notifications. Charleston port. You are in each other's catchment area and how you will be getting down there is way beyond me, but ultimately, maybe I just don't need to know about that. People will just jump down. Let's assume that, shall we? Right. So, line, new line, Charleston port, non-stop to Ventura port. All right, and we will call it Cha Van Ferry. All right, we need a dockyard somewhere, so might as well. Shipyard, sorry. Like that. There we go. And now all we need is a ship. So let's buy a vehicle. Riggy, what are you transporting? Power, loading speed emission, lifespan 50 years. Cargo types, all. Wilhelm, cargo types, passenger and much more, and you are just a tanker. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with uh, Riggy. 20 times speed, two compartments. What's the downside? Okay, this one is more pricey. Yeah, let's go with Wilhelm. I think we had, it will be enough for just the one. So you shall be assigned to the Chaben Ferry line. There you go. And of course, as you guys know, I always rename my ships. However, come on. I want you to show your face and you will be ground fork ship max bamble usually always my first ship is max bamble i just love playing with the guy so yeah here we go look at this isn't she a beauty right i will get back to the I will get back to her and I will pause this because I forgot one tiny, tiny little details. Let's go into our existing line manager. And yes, as you can see, we have the green line. Is it Chuck commuters? No, that's not Chuck commuters. I need the different green line. Van Fret, exactly. S Spruce Street. Yes, and I will add a station here ish so let's go like this you will go and um, actually one of my users uh, has made a very very valid comment that I only have stops on one side and that may be very well be the truth so actually I am actually gonna listen to him and um, yeah I'm gonna actually do that because it makes complete sense. So let's see. Yeah, it's actually Clyde Blanchard who actually said you probably need to do your commuter route step on both sides on the street. So I'm actually gonna do that here. Let's see. Right now we have first this guy. This is a one way stop. And then here we have look, we have too many people. Definitely buildings you are gonna go here as well 
fine. Let's continue. Here we have two way stop. Good. And then here. You're the turning point, aren't you? I think so. So I guess. Yeah, you're the turning point. All right. That fixed that line. So, um, or actually, that didn't fix it yet. Ventura halt. And after Ventura halt, you will go again through the Spruce Street different side. There we go. Um, I just botched that, didn't I? Dang it. I'll go Ventura halt. Starting, then Spruce Street. There we go. I'll just modify it a teeny tiny bit. Ninth Street, followed by another Ninth Street, followed by, you guessed it, Ninth, Fifth Street. Oh, it's a Fifth Street now. Didn't know that. And ending up in the Spruce Street different area. There we go. I think that should be fine. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Let's get back to this wonderful beastie. Hold on. Oh. By the way, does any of you in the comments below let me know if you know the resume button? Oh, look at this. Oh, we have to look at this in all its glory. I'm sorry. We just gotta. There we go. Look at it. Groundworks ship Max Bamble. Capacity for 70 passengers. I'm assuming it will take none at the moment, but look at this. Isn't she glorious? Easy on the docking. There you go. And I expect first my first horse carriage is to be along anyway, soon enough. There we go. Look at her go. All right. There she goes, leaving in this all but slightly unrealistic fashion. That covers the ferry line. Now, I was thinking I want to connect Fremont and Charleston somehow. We're going here and in theory we could connect further Olathe here somehow. The yeah, train line, but we don't have the cash for it. Although I have a feeling that we're gonna be in plus now. Look at that. So we are going positive and that's good because our trains are netting us a metric crap ton of cash. So that's beautiful. How's the food distribution going? Here everything seems to be doing fine. The train is netting us a good amount of money. Let's see. No, uh, vehicle manager, sorry. Line manager. No, I was thinking lines report, yes. Who's giving us the most cash? Yeah, the passenger line, see? And then the food supply. Cool. The ship is obviously losing money and that's to be expected. So what I could be doing is I could actually... Oh yeah. You know what we could do? We could up the capacity on this route. Do we have passengers that are waiting here? How many are waiting? 79. Goodness gracious. All right. It's settled. Vehicle manager. Now, where do we have... Hmm. Train. You. Train. All right. Manage vehicle. There you go. So, if I say I'm going to want to be added the selected vehicle and let's say if I wanted to 
replace you with a general and add another passenger card. How much that would cost me? 750 large. I obviously would have to borrow. There we go. So let's do that. There we go. Modify for 750,000, but it will up our capacity as well from 56, from 42 to 56. Cha-ching! Let's look at this. Oh yeah! And I think that's the maximum amount of length that we will be able to pull off on the station. And I think everybody will hop on right away so i don't think that will be the capacity will be a problem or returning back the cash would be a problem let's repay it oh i want to watch this beautiful beastie choo choo away you magnificent piece of work i mean it is struggling a bit and i'll give it that it of course, it should be struggling. It's pulling quite a lot of weight. And I think capacity-wise, we are halfway done because we need to go and pick them up on the way back, obviously. So it is a little bit of a slow turnaround, but long story short, I think it will be worth it. And we will need a second train here. Look at this view. Simply amazing. Build the headquarters of your company and location of your choice. Yeah, we could do that. I'm just admiring the view. Can't you leave me in peace to admire the view? Look at this. Amazing. Simply amazing. And the turkeys are singing their typical song. Thank you very much. So I'm hoping that this train actually gives us a good portion of the money. Otherwise I will be in deep poop. So let's see, there we go. And oh, hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo, we have plenty of passengers, nothing really to worry about. I should probably actually invest in a second train altogether. There we go, 100 large. And once you actually I'm really curious how much money you will make me once I actually get the whole train going there. So is it full capacity? Yes it is. And how many more we have waiting? Still 35. See? I'm definitely thinking we should invest in another train. Hmm. But they will need to bypass each other where? exactly here oh that would be a bee beastie so to say so maybe we should make this as a two-way stop yeah I don't like borrowing again but if we make this as a two-way stop once we actually accrue some cash we could in theory how much we have a room to borrow up to 10 see not too much. Yeah. Let's kick in the afterburners a little bit and let's see if we can modify the station. So, tracks. I want to put one additional here. It costs 19,000, which I don't have, of course. So, yeah. Borrowing my way through life. The story of my life. There we go. An additional track. An additional track good platform and it's a passenger platform I hope yes it is there we go there we go what miscellaneous passenger underpass do I need the passenger underpass I might actually need the passenger underpass here All right, so we have the passenger underpass here and here so that you can actually, you know, go back and forth. Okay, fair enough. Now let's take care of the tracks. 
I need to connect somehow too much curvature. No, I want to connect to this track. Not possible. Uh, don't tell me what's, what is and what isn't possible. Let me be the judge of that, will ya? So if I say I want to go this track, too much curvature. See, I knew you could be reasonable. There we go. So in theory, those two trains could pass each other somewhere along this route. There we go. All right, now what we need to do is we need to make sure that this train line, we need to manage the line. We need to actually switch that on the way back, it goes through a different track. So on the way back, it goes through from Charleston to Cedar, it goes on the platform two. Nope, it goes on the platform one, but second time on the Cedar goes through the platform two. There we go. This should be better now. So we will know exactly, look at the amount of passengers crowding here, haha. -ha. Should we make it um, the passenger platform? Not buildings, yeah. Oopsie, sorry about that one. We figure, do we have miscellaneous? Yeah, let's put a nice, so they don't, if it gets raining, so they have they're going to be protected from sunshine and everything. There we go. So now comes the hard part, getting another train. How much people are waiting? 90, see? So we should duplicate another train. That's like 56 capacity. Oh, I'm going to regret this, won't I? Max it out. Five vehicles. General, one, two, three, four. I don't have the cash for it. Yes, I do. Quickly buy. And you are going on the chassis. Yes, go ahead. Hopefully, they will be passing each other at this platform and they will be waiting for each other, which is admittedly not ideal, but it is a middle kind of stop, so. I guess we'll have to live with that. On the flip side, it might be bringing us a bit more cash in the bucket, so that's what I'm hoping for. It's definitely increasing the, you know, the traffic here, so let's see how that looks. There we go. One general coming in. There we go. Another general coming in. Come on, give me the cha-ching. 70,000, beautiful. I just hope that it will warrant the attention I've given it. All right. That should clear up any other mishaps. Now, Let's go back to the comment that we have. I actually do like circular ride. It doesn't seem that we have a problem with people piling up on the commuter lines anymore. Fremen, perhaps. Yeah, Fremen perhaps has a problem on the commuting lines piling up. Ventura, Denton, they're good. Here we have minor stockpiling. How are you doing? Your production and shipment transport is 100%. Woohoo. Beautiful. You are at the maximum production and shipment, except the transport is not all the way up. Well, sorry to say, I cannot do much more from here at the moment. How are you doing? Have you picked up any passenger? One! Okay, I can work with one. 
I can work with one. Let's see. Look at that. Oh, and we have our train in the distance. Oh, that's a sight to behold. Boats, boats, boats. I'm really curious to see if it will have any people getting on board on the other docks, though. Beautiful picture. Actually, I might use it for my for my thumbnail. There we go. Do I see people on the docks? I see somebody walking there. Hold the press, everybody. There we go. Coming in. We're coming in hot. Oh my god, look at that amount of turnout. Uh-oh, okay. I clearly need to rotate the camera, but would you look at that? Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have our screenshot for the episode. Ooh, 28 people. Wow, I'm thoroughly impressed. Okay, that means you, Sunshine, will be starting to tr give us cash. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, actually, guys, I'm actually a little bit... <laughs> I never expected the boat to be making us money. Max, you're the best. Alright, so we are running a little bit on the afterburners. And we have two trains. How are our trains doing? Let's catch up on the financials, shall we? Railroad, it's making us a little bit of a loss. We're still in April. Oh, sorry. Forget about that making us plus that's wonderful and we can repay the 500,000 loan we should start doing that sooner rather than later otherwise I'm worried that we're gonna run out of cash how is the station here 63 people still going through Charleston see and look and the trains are synced so that they will really pull off an exchange at the Cedar which is wonderful let's see if we can grab a nice shot Somewhere from here, let's say. Hi. Something like that would be an ideal. I'm, I'm just now waiting to enjoy the view. Oh, look at that. One general coming in. Turkey saying hi. Now we're waiting for the second general to come in. Which should be coming shortly. And here she comes. All right, guys, uh, that brings us pretty much to the end of this episode. As always, you know what to do. Like if you like the video, hit subscribe, and I will be seeing you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Gromforks, signing off.